Okay, so we're live. We're going to finish the, the week strong with a tough session today. So we're going to mix it up completely. We've got a little bit of everything in today's session. We've got ball work. We've got plyometrics. We've got some agility base work. We've got some ball and wall stuff. We've got some uh, jumping exercises we haven't done before on the live, so we're going to go from there, okay? So me and Charlie have already been in the garden uh, making, some in making some Instagram videos. Uh, so Charlie's nice and warm. So what we're going to do, we're going to skip the dynamic warm-up. We're going to go straight into some ball, ball mastery stuff just using this square. Um, we're going to do a reaction drill straight after because he's already warm. Um, so if you need, do need to do a warm-up, do a little warm-up, and you can obviously you know um, come back to this in a minute. Okay, so what we're going to do, get on a move, Charlie, with the inside of your feet. Let's go. Small touches yet. Good. So anywhere you want, lifting your head. Okay, so what you need to do, okay, how many fingers I hold up in the air, you're going to call it out, okay? okay. All right, so make sure you're lifting your head. Yeah. Good. Don't, if you see nothing, don't say anything. Keep going. Keep looking, keep looking as much as we can. One. 10, nine, eight, Four. seven, six. Keep scanning, keep scanning. Look as many times as you can and stop, well done. Okay, so we normally do some scanning exercises in the lab with the lights. So something simple you can do. Um, I'm holding the phone, so obviously I can't hold up a, a set of cones, uh, you know, all, all in one hand. But if you've got two hands and you're not ha having to hold the phone, you can hold cones, so you can put the cone above your head, different colored cones, or you can just literally use your fingers, okay? But the, what we want to try and do is look as much as we can. So a lot of the stuff we do do, okay, obviously is technical stuff, but to make it realistic, we want to look at the scanning, at scanning and the awareness. So what we do, we do the lights in terms of the lab. Um, we don't have the lights here. So in, in terms of the scanning, obviously you can use your fingers or you can use the cones, um, or you can download an app and put it on a tripod. Okay, so right, inside, outside, on the spot, on the move, sorry. Off you go. Any foot, yep. Yeah. If I say change feet, you change feet. We're still doing, we're still doing it. The, the, look, you're still, still scanning, yeah? Look at me, still scanning. One. Good. Four. Good. Look after the ball, head up as much as we can. Two. Good. One. Good, I might change where I go as well, so you have to keep looking. Scan, shoulders, keep looking, keep the same technique going all the way through. Good. So you're still looking, still looking after the ball. One. Scan. Five. Change feet. One. Four. Two. One. Five. Three. And stop. Good. Five. Okay, play it off the wall, two touch. Let's go. Yeah. Anything, mate, anything. Go. Scan. Keep scanning, Chaz. Lift that head up. Good. Good. Well done. Good. So as the ball, as it leaves your foot, scan. As it leaves your foot, glance. So as it leaves your foot, as you actually, good boy. So as it leaves your foot, relax for a sec. As it leaves your foot here, okay, you've got time now to scan. Okay, you've got time to glance, okay? So you wanna look there. As it's traveling, you can look again. And as soon as you receive it, just look again, yeah? Just look as much as we can, okay? At least two, three times, all right? Three, two, one, let's go. Don't say zero, don't say zero. Okay, you've got to look where the ball's going as well. Good, positive touches. Okay, when you see four, you must drive off into the space in front of me, okay? And stop, good boy, well done. Very, very simple, okay, so it's not, you could do this with your parent, you could do this with, uh, you know, your brother or your sister, it could be anyone, your mate. It's nice and simple, you could have a partner there, okay, instead of the wall, if you don't have a wall, okay, and all you've got to do is one of your friends has got to hold up your fingers and he's got to just have a number, okay, it's not that hard, okay? Well done, Char. Okay, we're going to do one more set and it's only right foot, so it's your, not your dominant one, yeah? Only right foot, okay? Play. 
Remember what number four means, yeah? Good. Well done. <laughs> Breathe back in. Okay. Toe taps on the move. Just get your feet nice and sharp. Go. Just toe taps, yeah? No, 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 just toe taps. Good. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Well done. Leave the ball, we'll do some little bit of reaction. So you remember what one means? Um, what cone's that one? That Where's three? Three, two. And four. So odd is on your left, Even. even's on your right, okay? One at the front, two at the front, three and four at the back, okay? So we've done this a couple of weeks ago. So all it is, it's just a little bit of diagonal movement, so a little bit of reaction work, okay? So when he hears the number, he must move the nearest leg towards the cone. It's little steps in between. So if he goes backwards, you still have to keep your head facing forward and it's just side on shuffling and make sure you use little steps and you plant with the foot to the nearest cone. Okay, all right, try and get all the way to the cone. Make sure we're not lunging and stretching. So it's little steps and we push. We're always doing little steps in between. Okay, Jazz? And you work off the middle point, okay? Yep. Come slightly over this way a bit, mate. There you go, ready? You got the numbers in your head? Yep. Two. Good, one. Three. Open up, open, good. Little steps. So remember where's three? That side, yeah, good. We're getting you working. Yeah, three, one, good, good. Think of it. Think, try, if I say two, back to the middle and then straight out, yeah? Yep. Okay, four, quick, three, good, two, good. So see when you go from one corner to the other, still keep the, the feet side on, okay. okay? We don't want to run and cross feet over, yeah? Little steps, three, one, good, four, last one, two, and stop. What we're going to do is make it slightly smaller. Okay. Okay, well done. Don't want you going too far. Yeah. Probably a bit too big on that set. Mm -hmm. It becomes unnatural in the end, so. Same thing. Yeah. Two, four, one, three, four, two. Two, four, one, three, one, three, four. Good. Good boy. Okay, now, definitely putting you under pressure now. Show everyone what you've been practicing in the garden with that. Off the wall and then that. All right, just take your time. If it doesn't work out, you just relax. You keep going, yeah? Okay, Let's go. off you go. Good, and you want to smooth it out and then pass. Good. Good. Drop. Good. So he's been doing this in his own time. And again, so if we can do this consistently, I mean, it's ridiculous. Let's go over. Good, so use the laces to smooth. And after a couple of bounces, He's trying to catch it, so he passes it straight back. Let's move it out, unlucky. Let's try, unless, you, unless, you, unless you're in a good position to pass, just come back a bit. So if you, if, if you find yourself here, don't attempt it, okay? Yeah. Good. So it's over, use the other foot, and again, bring it in, well done. Make sure you're, cent make sure you're central before you do it. There we go, smooth. Good. Good. Unlucky, Char, keep going. 10 seconds, yeah? Yep. Good. Good, love that, Charlie. Excellent, so there must be enough pace on the pass before we do it, yeah, one more. If there's not enough pace on it, you can't meet it, you can't get no momentum. There we go, and stop. Well done. You couldn't even, you could just about do two or three of them when you first started, so great. well done. You've been practicing that every day, good lad. Okay, just in here, Chaz. Yep. Okay, so we're gonna go. So this is this is a hard one. So one, two, three, one, two, three. Left, right, left, right, left, right. I want you to do it slow. It's three steps, 
forward, three steps back. So left, right, left, right, left, right. One, two, three, one, two, three. Right, left, right. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Off you go. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Left, right, left, right, left, right. And again, left, right, left, right, left, right. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Left, right, left, right. And relax. So make sure when you go one, two, three, and your right left, your left foot leads, then your right foot leads back. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. So imagine one, two in, one, two out. I used to do this when I was a kid at the running school. So if you try and do that really quick, it's difficult, yeah? So change feet, leave with your right foot. Yep. So right, left, right, going forward, go. Left, right, left, in. So one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, so yes, yeah, we haven't done it before, yeah? Well done. One, two, three, one, two, three. Right, left, right, and again. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Right, left, right, left, right, left. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Speed up. Eight, seven, six, Not and stop. It's difficult, yeah? yeah? Well done. Same thing going backwards. Right, left, right, going backwards. Left, right, left in the ring. Stand in the ring. Right, left, right, going backwards. Left, right, left in the ring. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Make sure the feet tap on the ground so you see the three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So much harder than it looks. So take your time. One, two, three. 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 And again. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Right, left, right, left, right, left. One, two, three, one, two, three, and stop. It's very hard, yeah? Last one. So lead with the left foot backwards, yeah? yeah? Go. Left, right, left. Right, left, right. Left, right, left. Right, left, right. Left, right, left. Oh. That's it. Left, right, left. Right, left, right. Left, right, left. Right, left, right. Left, right, left. Right, left, right. Left, right, left. Keep going. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh. And stop. It's difficult. Well done. You're, we've got to work on this one. We've never done it before, yeah? Well done. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, three steps on each side, okay? Ready? Just normal. Three, two, one, off you go. 10 seconds, let's go. So it's the same thing, we do three steps. Three, two, one, and stop. But all he did there was go forward and back. It's so hard to judge it. Get the balance and the coordination on the forward and back with the three steps. So if you can do that really fast, okay, it means you can think fast and your brain to your feet connection is insane. And that's why the running score are the best when it comes to that. Okay, right, change sides. Three, two, one, let's go. Three steps, three steps, three steps. Good, one, two, three, one, two, three. Good, lads, push, 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 push. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Good boy, have a break. Well done. You all right? Yeah. So today we're completely mixing it up. So it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough for a lot of you because, again, the, the stuff's really advanced. Okay, ball mastery, grab your ball, please Chaz. Yep. Okay, roll it back with your right foot. So do soul, soul inside, okay? Just gonna do a set on this. Okay, I think um, a lot of people have done this before, so let's go, soul, soul inside. Go, nice and smooth. Good, it's wet, so that's why we're doing it. Good, it's hard with the soles. 15 seconds, good, unlucky Chaz, well done. Let's go. Soul, soul, in, soul, soul, in. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Good, relax. How can you be that good at football and can't do laces? Hey? Hey? How can you feet me that quick and you can't do your laces? What's going on? You gotta be doing that. <laughs> okay. Same thing. Scanning. Okay. Hands. Look at my hand. Okay. Yep. Obviously, we can't look up the whole time, but it's glances. You look as much as possible. Okay. What, what do you have to do with the speed? 
calm, calm. be calm, yeah? All right, relax. Okay, obviously you pick the speed up as you go on, but you'll be nice and calm, yeah? Three, if you see nothing, you don't say zero, yeah? Three, two, one, let's go. Head, good, lift your head. Look, look a little bit more. When you kick it forward, look. Good. Forward and back with the ball. Unlucky, well done, back in. Good. Let's go. Scan. One. Don't leave it longer than three seconds. Four. Five. Two. Good, forward and back with the ball. Ten. Nine. Eight. 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 Seven. Oh, yeah. Come on. Six. Five. Four. Three. Eight. Two and stop. So three seconds max and you have to look. Well done. Okay, good. Three seconds max, okay? Because you can execute that skill. Once you've, exec once you've executed the skill, so let's say once you took the forward touch, for instance, what's that emphasizing, the forward one? Um, space. Space. So you've gone across the player, you've gone forward. What's required once you've gone forward if you want to then make a decision? Yeah, but what's required? Your Lift your head up, exactly. Yeah, so a good trigger there. Lift your head up when you kick it forward. Because that's habits then. You've run it, you rolled it across the opponent, heads up, okay? The difference in you lifting your head and seeing the, the winger that's made a run is the difference in you making a pass which is going to score the goal, score the team a goal, okay? Because those three seconds that you've missed out on, what happens? That angle's gone now and that decision's gone, all right? Yeah, okay, so just think of it like that. Jordan Henderson does a move in midfield. Salah makes the run. Unless, if you don't lift his head up, head up, that's a that's a goal. That's a goal gone in a game, and that's the margins. All right. Okay, we do inside, inside. Okay. Start with just the ball. When I say go, you're going to start looking at scanning. Yeah. Let's just get the technique going first. Yeah. Let's go. Get it out of your feet. Remember the positive touch. Okay. Lift your head up. Okay. When you kick it forward, it's wet as well. Good, good. Back in. Well done. See, I had four up there. Yeah. Twice. Yeah? You didn't say four. You didn't say anything. Maybe you said it under your breath, but you didn't say it. Yeah. Say it loud, yeah? Okay? Yeah. Three, two, one. Let's go. Good. Second touch forward. Two. One. Love it. Good. 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 That's it. Well done. It's challenging you. Well done. And again, 20 seconds, 20 seconds, 20 seconds. Five. Head up when you kick it forward. One. And stop. Well done. See, it's wet as well. Good. Well done. You're doing well. You're doing well. Your technique is refined now, okay? So we're always going to work on that. But to, to what we're going to be doing a lot of, especially when we go back to, to when this is over, okay, you're going to be doing a lot of, of scanning in every single session. Because if you can do it at that speed and have that awareness at the same time, it's just going to set you apart, okay? Everyone can do quick feet with their head down, but who can do quick feet, make good decisions but whilst lifting their head, their head up at the same time, all right, mate? Good. Okay, jumps. Forward, middle, back, middle. Stand in the middle. No, no, no. Three, two, one, let's go. Good, good, three, five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Quality char. So we sometimes uh, with the really advanced players on the footwork, without the ball, we do the lights um, at the lab. So we get them doing the combinations where they can't look at their feet. So we're still looking for them to have the same thought process with the speed of their feet, but at the same time, they're looking up, so they have to react to the light. So you see, there's a video where he's doing forward middle side on the box. We're changing the colours, and he can't look at his feet at all. And, and what a lot of them do, they start to hesitate when you do the lights, and they slow their speed down on their feet. You want them to try and go just as fast with, with the same balance and coordination, but still, and you, they can still process what's in front of their head at the same time. Okay, so left, middle, right, middle. Three, two, one, off you go. Good, 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 good. Keep breathing, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Love that, you all right? Well done. 
Okay, you can choose the next draw, anything you want. Absolutely anything. Bit of ownership. Three. There we go, yeah? There we go. So as soon as I said three, two, one. On the spot? Okay, go on then, grab the hoop. Yeah, okay, grab the hoop then. I want you to do eight reps without, without eight reps for the, to refine the technique first, okay? Okay, eight reps. Three, eight times, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well done. So, what he's just done there, relax. What he's just one, but what he's done there is the wall, the wall drill we do with the shift tap V term, but he's doing it on the spot. So, to break it down, okay, he started on his left, but he rolls it back, foot down, inside, inside, V turn, foot down, foot down. That's crucial, okay, that bit there. Foot down, foot down, one, two, three, four, foot down, foot down. So, when he goes down the side, his foot leaves the ball, and the little steps allow him to go fast, okay? So, do, do a hop, Charlie, what, what I don't want, what, what we shouldn't be doing. So, yeah, see that hop? Yeah, see that hop? It kind of slows the speed, okay? So make sure we're not hopping. All right, so you just, you might have to just keep the speed to a slightly, like 60, 70%, okay? If you're going to do this, yeah? How many how many seconds? You have to look, three seconds. Don't leave it longer than three seconds, all right? Three, two, one, let's go. Look on the V, look on the rollback. Good. Good, I'm just gonna change my angle as well. Keep going. 15 seconds. Good, back in, back in, back in, good boy. Last one, keep going, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, and stop. Quality. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna keep it calm okay. for the next five minutes. And we're gonna do nice and simple, inside pass and move. Okay, okay you're scanning, okay? Scan. I'm gonna either gonna be on your left, or I might be behind you, I might be to your right. It's for you to glance and keep checking your shoulders. Like yeah, you just have to little glance. I'm not gonna stand literally like here, but I'm saying behind you is like here, oh, here. yeah? All right, I'm not gonna stand right behind you in a straight line, okay? Three, two, one, let's go. Good. Remember, as it leaves your foot, you can scan. As it leaves your foot. Good. Head up. Two. One. Five. Good. Ten. Nine. Eight. Five. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. And stop. Okay, well done. Nice. So a good time to scan prior to getting the ball. So let's say you're a centre midfielder. Yeah. Your fullback's got the ball, yeah? You've dropped in, you've made an angle. Okay, you should now be looking left and right of you. A lot of it you can see on the right. So say you're getting it from the right back. You can see the right side a lot of it. Because you can see the right winger. Okay, where, where, where should you should be, you should be scanning the opposite side of the pitch. So all, you, all it takes is a clip, one, two or three, gla three glances in, in a space of three seconds. And as it's travelling, okay, you just a little check like that. And then you know your next move. Go on. Yeah, you know your next move. But don't just spin the heads for the sake of it. You've got to be looking at the players, yeah? Otherwise, you're just spinning your head. You've got to be thinking, where's, the op where's, my, where's my teammate who's in midfield with me? Where's the winger? Where's the striker? Because he might have made... The moment he's peeled off and made a run, if you can spot that, okay, it's so hard to defend against. Where's the other fullback? Because the fullback 
for six, see if um, fullback um, overlaps. I yeah. Play a free ball. Yeah, so if he plays it to you and then he gets on his bike, yeah. yeah but the main it. thing is the opposite sides as well. Because you can yeah. if you can get the ball out of those tight areas, okay, 1v1 to wingers of the opposite side or forward runs, that's what's going to take you to the next level. People like Busquets and Xavi, okay, they may not be as, as fast as certain individuals, but they're, fast, they're faster with the way they think, all right? So they make fast decisions up here. Okay, you ready? Yep. Inside, outside, pass, left foot. Scan in, okay? Three, two, one, let's go. Good, nice and calm, Jazz. Head up. As it leaves your foot, look. Five, four, three, one. Ten, nine, eight, four, seven, six, two, and stop. Well done. Well done, stop. Oh. Feel okay? 26 minutes. Wow. Only half an hour. Right foot scanning again. That's it. One. Look after the ball. Two. Four. Five. One. Good. Ten seconds. Two. Three. When you see four, that means you're getting pressed and you drive off. Okay? Yeah. When you see number four. Good, excellent. Four means off you go, okay? Well done. So that could be someone coming up for you from behind. Drive to the space, okay? Yeah. Breathe. Okay? Yeah, thank you. Would you like a drink? I'm not fine. Okay, what we're going to do? We've got footwork again. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to go one leg in, one leg out. Actually, no, no, we'll go um, three, two, three, Chaz. Three on the outside, two in the middle, yeah? Yep. Three, two, one, off you go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Well done. Class. Okay. Passes or flip flap. Okay. So right foot pass, flip flap on the left foot, pass on the right foot. Okay. After the flip flap, relax and just calm. Flip flap, pass. Move your feet after the flip flap. So you got to do little steps. So then you have good balance. Flip flap, pass, good. Out in. One, two, good. Towards the ring and inside. Out your feet. One, two. And again. In, good. Out in. Flip flap. Pass. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, good. Four, three, two, one, and stop. Well done. 
So doing a flip flap when the ball's traveling at you is way different to doing it on the spot. You know, obviously driving with it and doing it's really hard. But you know, you see a lot of people, they, they run with it and they do that. Yeah, okay, but pass it off the wall and see if you can judge and do it at the same time. It's difficult. That's why all wall drills are key because you constantly get your brain into receiving a football. Now in games, you're gonna receive a ball. So unless you do wall stuff, Okay, you can make more passes here than you could do in any team session you do. Because you, with the wall, okay, you give the wall a good pass, you get good return. If it's a bad pass, you get a bad return. So the more wall drills you do, okay, the more you're going to get you know, sharp up here. And constantly, when you're receiving a ball, you're so used to judging where the ball's coming, you're doing little steps, your balance is good. Okay, so even though they're five, ten, five yard passes, okay, it actually helps your accuracy over 10, 15 yards, doesn't it? Because you, if I get you to switch the ball to me in a park, we don't really do much long-range passing, do we? But when we do go around and kick and do kick about for a bit of fun, okay, you, a lot of the time you hit my feet from anywhere just because your your eye coordination now is just on point, okay? Because your judgment of using the wall. Okay, so I want you to do the other foot, okay? So it's a little bit more challenging for you, okay? Off you go. We're gonna start. We're gonna bring the ring tiny bit, just a little bit closer. Just take your time, yeah. Good. So again, good habits. The skills executed on one foot, the pass is on another. So the skills on one, the pass is on another, yeah? Good, out and in. Love that. Right now, we don't know what foot you are because it's nice, been nice and smooth, yeah? Well done. Touch, touch. We've done the, both, the same on both sides. One, two, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Okay, so what we're gonna do, Chaz? Yep. We're gonna go the XL, DXL jumps, yeah? Stand in the middle, stand on the right side of the hoop, facing forward. Stand on the right side, y'all. Yep. Hoop, left, back to right. Okay. So we do 10. Small, small, big. Oh, so stand on, no, stand on the, stand oh. on there. Hoop, hoop, the other side, big yeah. jump back, okay? Yep. Let's go, head up, go. One. Two, three, small, small, get across. Good. Stay close to the line. Six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and 10. Good, well done. These are great for body control. So you started here, small, small, big. Okay, you gotta be nice and light on your feet. Get the air time to jump across, land soft. The speed is probably gonna come with one, two, and then up. One, two, and up. Well done. Chain size. We just do 10 reps. They're quite explosive. You don't need to do them for a long time, okay? Three, two, one, let's go. One, small, small, two, small, small, three, small, small, four, small, small, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent. Good body control. Well done, Chaz. Okay, start at the back of it. Small, small and leap backwards, yeah? Yep. Three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh. One, Charlie, and stop. Well done. So where Charlie's got good body control now, we started to add resistance into his training sessions, but we wouldn't recommend doing this until you can see that you've refined the techniques, you know, without the resistance. You don't want to start doing resistance training. So in terms of holding the waistband um, until you literally, you've mastered it without it. So if you can do the footwork nice and quick and you're not, and you're keeping your chest up and you're causing strong, okay, and you're, and you're, you're probably at least above the age of uh, 11 or 12, you can start to do that. But again, where Charlie's, 10 but again you can see that he's got good body control from all of the drills so we're able to do that because he's slightly further in front so only start doing the resistance stuff where you're you've got the the um what should you call it the um you know the bands that you can get offline yeah pull yeah so the rubber bands you know the big ones so don't start using those until so you get good body control okay so start at the front yeah we use the skills trainer didn't we so start at the front do two back and one forward okay go 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Love that. So, one set without the scan, one set with the scan. All right? Mm -hmm. Feel okay? Yeah. Sure? Let's go. Set diagonal. Remember to shuffle the feet on the diagonal. One, 20 seconds, child. Well done. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Well done. This is a great one. Um, you know, you really rule. If you can do this nice and neat on both sides for a good amount of time, okay, it shows you can think ahead and you've got good balance and control on both feet. So this is a good one to practice. Um, seen a lot of Charlie's very good at this one we've seen a lot of improvement in passing patterns you know how to judge a ball so if you know sometimes you might do a two touch passing pattern you might do a one touch passing pattern in terms of the weight of the pass so you're learning to set the ball you're learning to play it around the corner um, you're learning to take it on your back foot to all of these little things that he's doing here have made him excel when it comes to you know even doing 20 yard passes in a, in a passing pattern setting it off a mannequin because you get to judge the weight of the pass right. You learn how to how to hit a ball. You learn how to set a ball. Um, and again, I play centre midfield myself, so I practice this a lot and I find it's helped my feet. I feel so light um, after doing this quite a lot of the times in, in games. You just feel nice and calm as it comes into your feet. You don't panic. You're always thinking ahead. So what we're going to do, we're going to do the same thing and I've got my, I'm going to do this, the Hand. hands, yeah? Right, three, two, one, let's go. Good, Charlie. Good, Charles. Three means drive, okay? Three means drive now. Good. Good boy. Big high five. Love it. Okay, so we haven't done this for a little while, so we're going to scatter the cones, which are going to work on tight dribbling. Okay. Do you, for your decision making, yeah? So yeah. put into practice. Quick feet in and out, tight touches. What do you use to turn? Um, no, what do you, sorry, what, what, what should you only use to turn, really? Um, laces. No, no, the soles to turn. Oh, the soles and then the Because the sole, if, you, if, you, unless you, if you're using the soles just standing on the ball, it's just taking too long. So, um, and then the, laces the laces and the inside outside should be small touches you're driving with, yeah? And the, the soles, you should turn, yeah? So if you're hopping, Okay, you're going to slow the game down. But if you roll it, that's a turn. If you do a V-turn, that's a turn. So with your soles, be proactive in turning rather than dwelling on the ball, standing on the ball. Okay? Is that enough space you have? Uh, yeah. Sure? Have we got any more cones yet? One more in here. That's what we're going to do in a second, okay? So I want you to just relax for the first set, just nice, neat touches. Always have the idea in your head. So you go for a gap, you don't, you don't hesitate, you don't dwell on the ball, you think about the next phase. Always think about the next phase. If you make mistakes, it doesn't matter, just constantly think. Three, two, one, off you go. Good. 
Good. Drive a bit. Little touches. Drive, drive, drive. Quick feet. Good. <laughs> Let's go. Good. Good. Nice and neat. Good. Quick feet. Quick feet. Good. 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 It's tight. There we go. Quick feet. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Good. So I'm going to put a gate up here. I'm going to put a gate here, okay? Yep. So we're going to do scanning. Number three means you run here. Okay. You run here? Yeah, I want you to sh sprint as fast as you can with the ball and de-accelerate after you get through the gate. So you don't slow down until you get into the goal, yeah? Yep. So scanning, three means off you go, okay? Yep. So just take your time. Nice and neat on your feet, yeah? Yep. Play. Two. Five. Try not to leave it longer than three seconds. Two. One. Two. Three. Good. Excellent. But if you see free, don't say free, just boom. Okay. All right, walk in. Well done, breathe. So we're probably going to do about three more, two more, two to three more sets. And then um, me and Charlie started filming some bits earlier, which we want to finish. So I don't want to kill him. So I'm probably going to end the live in about five minutes. And then me and Charlie have made some videos we're actually going to upload on the Academy Player Instagram shortly. And I want to film some more bits. So I don't want to overdo it. Okay, so make sure we do a couple more sets here. Give you a couple minutes rest and then what we'll do, we'll film some more stuff. Okay, for Instagram, okay? Right, you ready? I might move my pattern as well, yeah? Okay. Yep. Three, two. Remember, no more than three seconds. Okay, three, two, one, let's go. Good boy. Well done. Make a mistake. We said already. It doesn't matter. Good. Great feet. Scan. Scan. Don't forget. Let's go, Char. No, no, no longer than three seconds, yeah? Ten more seconds. Remember what three means? Head up. Head up. And relax. Well done. So with today's session, I didn't have any of this on paper at all. I made it up as we went along. I knew we wanted to do scanning. Um, I, knew, I knew I was going to do certain bits, but in my head, I, I just, just gone with the flow. So that's sometimes it, when you're coaching, if you're a coach, okay, a lot of the time, you're, you know, your best ideas come from, you know, mid. You see, you see something in a session, you think, oh, okay, well, add this in. So not everything's got to be done by the book. Okay, the ball and wall stuff we've been doing for four years. I've never looked at a book at all um, in terms of what to do with a wall. Um, I know that they used to use it back in the day because we see a quote from Glenn Hoddle and it did say the only thing they haven't built at St. George's Park in their luxurious training ground is a wall. And that's all they used to do when they were kids was use a wall for their touch. Because again, if you give the wall a bad pass, you get a bad return. Okay, we see a video of Diego Forlan playing two touch off a wall from about here to the fence, kicking it. And every time he's coming back and killing it. Okay, so you've got to think what's made their touch when they're kids is obviously just going in the front garden and having a kick about yeah, doing 150 passes on their one foot, changing feet. Yeah, so again, obviously, the wall concept has been out there for a long time back in the day, but we've just taken it to another level with the ball mastery that you can take to it um, and the moves that uh, you, know, you see the players do nowadays. I watch a lot of games and I just think, OK, look at what that centre midfielder's done. We've got to add that trait into the sessions. So look what um, 
You know, look what Lampard does on the ball. Look where his first touch takes him. So we look at how football's played, and you just keep it keep it simple because simplicity is effective. All right, ready? Yep. Three, two. Was your last set? Okay, so three means drive through that gate. Okay, you got the poles there, just in your face a bit. Okay, three, two, one. Let's go. No longer than three seconds. Charlie, that was five seconds. Good, head up. Good, keep going. Well done, you're doing well. Scan, shoulders. Good, good. Good, Charles. Good. Back in straight away, well done, back in straight away, good. It's wet as well, you're doing well, good. Be calm, you make a mistake, don't fluster. Good. Head up. Ten. Nine. And stop. Quality. Well done. Look. Hey, well done. Hey, look. Relax. Well done. Very good. Yeah, good. Excellent. Okay, if you stay in your comfort zone, it's not going to get better. You've got to be out of your comfort zone constantly. Okay? As soon as you come out your comfort zone, then things become comfortable because you just work at it, work at it, work at it. Some drills today you've never done before, okay? And, I, and I, I'm not even giving you a heads up. I just told you to come outside and we're going to train. All right, so well done, okay? Thanks, guys. So we finished week three. Uh, we'll be starting Monday. We did five sessions this week instead of six. So next week, we're going to be back to six. It's Monday to Saturday again next week for week four. Thanks for watching. Uh, we do appreciate any feedback we get, any positive feedback. We'd like, love, love to see that the, we've got a few likes on today's video. So thanks, guys. We'll see you on Monday at four o'clock.